Let me switch topics one more time. Sure. I have a few more minutes. Yeah. Um, what's the technology you're watching you're really excited outside of Kafka and that zone? <laughs> very like, wow, it's pretty cool stuff going on right now. Yeah, totally. So I, I watched the whole ecosystem of like streaming, stream processing, mm -hmm. streaming data stuff. I, I think that that whole area is really exciting. Um, and then but maybe I watch, outside, yeah, outside yeah, of your even, ecosystem. Yeah, absolutely. And then, so I mean, there's like circles, right? So right. then I, I pay a little bit of attention to the kind of database space. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think there's going to be another generation of database companies. People think that's crazy because mm -hmm. there's already a lot of database mm -hmm. companies, but none of them are quite, you know, Oracle, but horizontally distributed, mm -hmm. right? Like. So, so you have Oracle, now you have Cassandra, yeah. Mongo, and there's another one on top of these? Well, not on top, but, but instead of. Okay. Um, so like, you know, maybe the project for that type of database was, you know, give you the features you had with a relational database, but make it horizontally scalable. Mm -hmm. And I think we haven't really accomplished that project yet. Mm -hmm. So like, I, I do pay a little attention to those kind of emerging things. So there's like Cockroach, DB, mm -hmm. you know, and like um, very kind of beta stage yet. But uh, much more. What's and and really good name. They they have the same branding team we do. Obviously, yeah. like <laughs> Kafka and <laughs> Cockroach. Like I don't know. Yeah. Um, but but I do think that there's a um, there. You know, and I, I I don't know what will happen with that. But I do think there's an opportunity for something there that takes on more of the problem of you know conveniently building an application, mm -hmm. uh, kind of at globally distributed scale. Um, in that space, and mm -hmm. so I, I think that's really interesting. I, um, I pay a little bit of attention to the wild world of containers and Kubernetes and Mesos, and mm -hmm. you know uh, everything happening with uh, AWS and the cloud and all that. I'm, I'm I'm pretty tapped into that, but I'm I'm more an observer than a you know creator. Um, are, are you on one of those container platforms, Mesos? You, no, no, no. I mean, we're making no bets. We'll mm -hmm. we'll try and package for everything we can. Yeah. Um. So so you know me as Confluent. Uh. Mm -hmm. No. You know we'll just see what happens. We're right. making no bet on right. our own. Um. But but, but you guys have integration to those. Kind yeah. Of yeah. We've yeah. done a little bit, and there's there's still more to do. Mm -hmm. Um. It's actually probably the last challenge for those systems is really running, you know, stateful data systems reliably. Mm -hmm. And they're a little bit ambitious about saying they do it maybe before their users would agree. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's a little bit of a harder problem because obviously if you if you migrate a process from here to there and it has five terabytes of state, that five terabytes yep. of state has to also move. So the cost function associated with yeah. that is really different, um, which isn't always kind of fully taken into account. 